गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ रोबोटिक्स इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन माई नेम इज शास्त्री विश्वश्री आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ई सी ई इन श्रीदेवी वुमेन्स इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर यूनिट वन आर इंट्रोडक्शन ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रोबोट elements of robots joints links actuators and sensors we are following the textbooks industrial robotics by gruver mp pearson uh, second one is robot technology fundamentals by james g karamas yeah introduction to robots and robotics when we listen to the word robot or robotics a few questions will be coming into our minds the, they are what is a robot what is robotics why do we study robotics how can we teach a robot to perform a particular task what are the possible applications of robots can a human being be replaced by a robot and so on here we try to answer all of these questions one by one the definitions of robot are as follows the term robot has come from the czech word robota which means forced or slave laborer in the year 1921 karel kapek a jack playwright used the term robot first in his drama named rossum's universal robots r u r at that time there was no not even a single robot in this world according to karel kapek a robot is a machine look wise similar to a human being robot has been defined in various ways according to oxford english dictionary according to international organization for standardization according to robot institute of america let us see one by one according to oxford english dictionary a robot can be defined as a machine capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically especially one programmable by a computer according to international standard organization for standardization iso uh, a robot can be defined as an automatically controlled reprogrammable multi purpose manipulator programmable in three or more axes which can be either fixed in place or mobile for use in industrial automation applications according to robot institute of america ria it is a reprogrammable multifunctional manipulator designed to move materials parts tools or specialized devices through variable programmed motions for the performance of a variety of task note a cnc is not a robot cnc stands for computerized numerical control let us see what is cnc cnc stands for computerized numerical control machine these machines play an important role in the manufacturing industry these complex machines are controlled by a computer and provide a level of efficiency accuracy and consistency that would be impossible to achieve through a manual process a cnc machine was developed in the year 1950 robotics terminology so robotics is the study and application of robot technology it deals with the study it deals with the issues related to the design manufacturing usages of robot the main aim of robotics is to design an efficient robot tele robotics is nothing but the robot that can be operated remotely in robotics we use the fundamentals of physics mathematics mechanical engineering electronics engineering electrical engineering computer sciences and so on in the year 1942 the term robotics was introduced by isaac asimo in the story named run around and at that time also there was not even a single robot in the world next one is the laws of robotics the three laws of robotics often shortened to the three laws are known as asimov's laws are a set of rules devised by author isaac asimov the rules were introduced in his story 
named run around in the year 1942 although they had been foreshadowed in some earlier stories the three laws are first law a robot may not injure a human being or through in action allow a human being to come to harm second law is a robot must obey the orders given by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law and the third law is a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law three heads in robotics three heads of human beings are copied into robotics such as hand for serial manipulator or a fixed base head for artificial intelligence and heart for emotions or feelings motivation to cope up with the increasing demands of a dynamic and competitive market the modern manufacturing methods should satisfy the following requirements the first one is reduce production cost second one is increased productivity and the third one is improved product quality production can be categorized into three types first one is piece production second one is batch production and the third one is mass production piece production has no automation batch production has flexible automation and mass production has fixed hard automation automation is nothing but automatically controlled operation of an apparatus process or system by mechanical or, or electronic devices that replace human observation effort and decision note automation can help to fulfill the above requirements automation can be either hard or flexible and robotics an, is an example of flexible automation in the second category of batch batch productions category flexible automations robotics is an example of flexible automation next why is robotics needed robotics is needed because of high speed it can work in hazardous or dangerous temperatures it can do repetitive task it can do work with accuracy it can handle lifting heavy loads toxic substances this has helped companies to prevent many accidents also saved time and money a brief history of robotics so in the year 1954 the first patent on robotics was filed by george devel he is known as father of robot and after 2 years in the year 1956 joseph engelberger started the first robotics company and it, and the company name is called as unimation in the year 1962 general motors used the manipulator unimate in die casting application in the year 1967 general electric corporation made a four legged vehicle in the year 1969 sam was built by nasa usa shaki an intelligent mobile robot was built by stanford research institute it is the first intelligent mobile robot in the year 1970 victor shinman demonstrated a manipulator known as stanford arm luno code 1 was built by built and sent to the moon by ussr odex 1 was built by odetix all these were happened in the year 1970 and in the year 1973 richard horn of cincinnati melacron corporation manufactured the t3 t3 stands for the tomorrow tool robot in the year 1975 rybert at cmu usa built a one leg one legged hopping machine the first dynamically stable machine in the year 1978 Unimation developed Puma. Puma stands for Programmable Universal Machine for Assembly. In the year 1983, Odetics introduced a unique experimental six-legged vehicle or six-legged device. In the year 1986, adaptive suspension vehicle was developed at Ohio State University, USA. In the year 1997, Pathfinder and Sojourner 
was sent to the mars by the nasa usa this mission was failure due to the mismatch of specifications in the year 2000 azimo humanoid robot was developed by honda in the year 2004 the surface of the mars was explored by spirit and opportunity in the year 2012 curiosity was sent to the mars by nasa usa this mission this mission was also failure due to the mismatch of specifications in the year 2015 sophia humanoid was built by hanson robotics hong kong next topic is a robotic system so this is a robotic system it consists of various components like base links and joints end effector or gripper wrist driver actuator controller sensors so this is the schematic diagram of a robotic system let us discuss about each and every component in a great detail in our next class thank you